there's private AI and non-private AI. So private AI is where you can put stuff in and it doesn't go anywhere else. Assuming we trust the provider, it doesn't go anywhere else. And then there's the non-private, which is you can't really trust it. It's probably being used as training data. There might also be humans reading it. So you really don't want to put in like anything like proprietary information, confidential information, health information about your clients, things like that. Typically, when you pay for AI and you have a paid account, they will not train on your data and it'll be private to you. When you don't pay for it, the default for most of them is they do use it for training because it's great information for them to use for training data. So just be careful. Make sure that you're using a paid account or that you have the privacy settings turned on so that it's not training on your data. That's really important. And then if you get into like healthcare situations where you've got client healthcare information, then you probably need to have a more secure option. Yeah. And that might need a kind of something like an open source LLM, which is running on your own private server somewhere. And that would be a, a completely different type of solution. It would still have the same functionality, but it would be a different solution. And it would probably cost a bit more to set up because the more security, it's more complex to set up. But if you were doing something with patient records and things like that, then maybe that's what you need to do.